Septuagesima in full, Septuagesima Sunday is the name for the ninth Sunday before Easter, the third before Ash Wednesday. The term is sometimes applied to the 70 days starting on Septuagesima Sunday and ending on the Saturday after Easter. Alternatively, the term is sometimes applied also to the period commonly called Shrovetide or Jessimatide the pre-Lenten season that begins on this day and ends on Shrove Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, when Lent begins. The other two Sundays in this period of the liturgical year are called Sexagesima and Quinquagesima, the latter sometimes also called Shrove Sunday. The earliest date on which Septuagesima Sunday can occur is January 18 Easter falling on March 22 in a non-leap year and the latest is February 22 Easter falling on April 25 in a leap year. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins of the term Septuagesima comes from the Latin word for 70th. Likewise, sexagesima, quinquagesima, and quadragesima mean 60th, 50th, and 40th, respectively. The significance of this naming according to Andrew Hughes, Medieval Manuscripts for Mass and Office Toronto, 1982, 10, is as follows. Septuagesima Sunday is so called because it falls within 70 days but more than 60 days before Easter. The next Sunday is within 60, sexagesima, and the next within 50, quinquagesima. Falling within 40 days of Easter excluding Sundays, the next Sunday is quadragesima. Because every Sunday recalls the resurrection of Christ, they are considered little Easters and not treated as days of penance. Also note that quadragesima serves as the Latin word for the season of Lent, which not counting Sundays is 40 days long. Amillarius of Metz would have the name indicate a period of 70 days made up of the nine weeks to Easter plus Easter week, which would mystically represent the 70 year Babylonian captivity. Septuagesima was also the day on which one could begin a 40 day Lenten fast that excluded from its observance Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. <laughs> Devotional and liturgical practices The 17-day period beginning on Septuagesima Sunday was intended to be observed as a preparation for the season of Lent, which is itself a period of spiritual preparation for Easter. In many countries, however, Septuagesima Sunday marked and still marks the traditional start of the carnival season, culminating on Shrove Tuesday, sometimes known as Mardi Gras. In the pre-1970 Roman Rite liturgy, the Alleluia ceases to be said during the liturgy. At first Vespers of Septuagesima Sunday, two Alleluias are added to the closing verse of Benedicamus Domino and its response, Deo Gratias, as during the Easter octave, and, starting at Compline, it is no longer used until Easter. Likewise, violet vestments are worn, except on feasts, from Septuagesima Sunday until Holy Thursday. As during Advent and Lent, the Gloria and Te Deum are no longer set on Sundays. The readings at Matins for this week are the first few chapters of Genesis, telling of the creation of the world, of Adam and Eve, the fall of man and resulting expulsion from the Garden of Eden, and the story of Cain and Abel. In the following weeks before and during Lent, the readings continue to Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses. The Gospel reading for Septuagesima week is the parable of the workers in the vineyard Matthew chapter 20 verses 1-16. Topic. Catholic usage after 1969 The liturgical books for the ordinary form of the Roman Rite revised after the Second Vatican Council omit Septuagesima, Sexagesima and Quinquagesima Sundays, which are found in the earlier versions, and treat this period as part of ordinary time, so that the use of violet vestments and the omission of Alleluia in the liturgy begin only on Ash Wednesday. The ordinariate form and extraordinary form of the Roman Rite have retained the pre-Lenten season and its traditional observances. <inaudible> Polish National Catholic Church usage The Polish National Catholic Church has officially reinstated the Septuagesima, Sexagesima, and Quinquagesima Sundays in 2014 throughout the entire Church. The celebration of this season as a preparation for Holy Lent is now highlighted as a part of the liturgical year. <inaudible> Anglican and Lutheran usage 
Most provinces of the Anglican Communion adopted the same change. In the Church of England these Sundays retain their original designations where the prayer book calendar is followed, but in the common worship calendar they have been subsumed into a pre-Lent season of variable length, with anything from zero to five Sundays before Lent, depending on the date of Easter. Churches in the continuing Anglican movement that use the 1928 Book of Common Prayer or the various missals based upon it also observe Septuagesima. Some Lutherans still celebrate this season, however, those who adopted a three-year lectionary modeled on that of the Catholic Church eliminated pre-Lent as a season and instead continue with the Sundays after the Epiphany, the last of which is celebrated as the Feast of the Transfiguration. Eastern usage A pre-Lent season also exists in the Eastern Orthodox and Byzantine Catholic liturgical calendar, and is found in the liturgical book known as the Triodion which continues to Easter even. It is 22 days long because it begins on the Sunday before Septuagesima, but not 24 since the Byzantine Lent commences on a Monday instead of a Wednesday. In popular culture In 1894, Oscar Wilde told the actor Charles Brookfield, who had complained about Wilde's conducting rehearsals for his play An Ideal Husband on Christmas Day, "...the only festival of the church I keep is Septuagesima." See also Ordinary time Septuagint disambiguation References Topic. External links Lections and resources for Septuagesima Sunday